Let's explore dot product with negative magnitude. Describe as ordered triples any two vectors whose dot product is negative and then draw a diagram. Without using your calculator, what do you know about the value of angle between these vectors? Now these are kind of open-ended questions and it's all up to you. You can select any two vectors and my suggestion is do the best by selecting the most simplest of all, right? So, ordered triple means space R3. So that is our space R3, right? Now what I'm trying to do here is, I will actually select two vectors which are an ordered triple, but it's a better idea to check them as XY plane. Draw another, another diagram, and this time XY plane, right? XY plane, because we are so conversant with this, that is easier to explain and that is the whole concept. So my vectors here are one which is like this and the other one which is something like this. Now if I have vectors with obtuse angle, I know their dot product is going to be negative. Do you understand? Their dot product is going to be negative, right? That is what we want. In R3, we can select vectors as a which is equals to let's say 1 0 0 right so this is my unit vector along x axis right so which will be in this case here that's my 1 0 0 unit vector along x axis and the other one which i want to select actually is along the y axis and that will be b which will be not on the negative side of x correct so, in that case, I want here to put B as for X negative. We, we want to move negative, right? And then some positive Y. So, let's say negative and 1 and 0. Do you see that part? So, that is my vector B. And I'm not trying to complicate it. It's a triple. So, I'm just keeping that Z 0. So, I have a vector in this plane itself. Do you see that? So, now, if I have to plot this, then the other vector is actually minus 1 means I have to move one unit this side and then 1 on this side, correct? So that is my vector B, right? So this is, now I have two vectors here. So one is vector A, which is along the x-axis, I have taken as a unit vector. And the other one is vector B, which is right there. And the angle between the two, as you can see now, is more than 90 degrees, correct? Now, since the angle is more than 90 degrees, the dot product is going to be negative, correct? Then the first part, that is, now we have two vectors whose dot product is going to be negative, right? Since we have taken the angle between them as obtuse. Now, the second part of this question is, without using your calculator, what do you know about the value of angle between these two vectors? So we know one thing about it and that is the angle between them is obtuse, right? Angle between them is obtuse, correct? So that is what we know. So this angle, as you can see, it has to be obtuse. So it is more than 90 degrees. Only then you get a dot product which is negative, right? Now, I can actually show you dot product here. Now, if I say, what is dot product of A dot B? So, it is basically the component like this. Do you see that? So, that is that is the value of dot product, correct? So, so we get this magnitude from here to here as the dot product of A dot B. Uh, and since it is in the negative direction of X, it has a negative magnitude, right? So that's what it is. And the magnitude is going to be 1, correct? So that's how we can do these kinds of questions. Thank you.